Well, well, well. It appears that November 17th, 2019 was the day the Snyder Cut dominated Twitter. Yes, an effort was made to get the hashtag release the Snyder Cut trending and uh, in my own way I participated in. I uh, did these photoshops of the different uh, characters of the Justice League and uh, retweeted them as much as possible as I could retweeted other people's uh, uh, tweets on the subject matter and um, then I had to go to work and uh, <laughs> and I retweeted some more on from the phone but I did the best I could under the circumstances but nevertheless uh, it seems to have done quite well uh, uh, not only uh, were everybody who have uh, been uh, long identified as uh, pro re uh, the Snyder Cut and wanting to see it um, Gal Gadot came in, Wonder Woman herself, and uh, set out the hashtag. Uh, Zack Snyder, of course, did this, and he responded to that and saying, "Hey, looky here, Wonder Woman, you know." And then uh, Ben Affleck, Batman, uh, the former Batman, unfortunately, because in my opinion, from all these movies, uh, okay, from what little we got, which wasn't enough, he was the best. Sorry. He just was. But anyway, uh, so he tweeted out, and of course, uh, Jason Momoa had long since been championing this and uh, even said he has seen the uh, uh, Snyder's Cut. And um, uh, and Ray Fisher, of course, uh, has always been uh, uh, championing this. And uh, and so uh, the, uh, the other notable absences uh, being uh, Superman, Henry Cavill, and uh, The Flash... Uh, Ezra Miller. Now, Ezra Miller uh, has still said he wants to do the Flash movie, and that supposedly is still happening. Uh, he's still involved with the uh, Harry Potter movies, uh, Fantastic Beasts and whatnot. And hopefully they'll hear something more about that afterwards, because in a lot of ways, I'm thinking more and more a Flashpoint movie is something they really should uh, return to. There's been some rumors about possibly there might be something concerning the Wonder Woman movie, uh, rebooting it all, and this sort of thing, but uh, maybe so. But anyway, uh, you, you didn't get a hashtag re release of Snyder Cut from those two guys, and that's unfortunate, but uh, probably doesn't matter. Uh, it, 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 this had to have been enough <laughs> to get some notice, because it is interesting to also know that Jay Oliva had made the point, and I sort of agreed with it as a factor of influence for uh, Warner Brothers uh, executives that trends on Twitter and uh, and other social media, but mostly Twitter, um, it, it, it went a long way in influencing them on what to do with their superhero franchises. And uh, since uh, it was mostly negative in that realm over uh, Zack Snyder's approach at the time, uh, they went with that and said, oh, we got to be more like Marvel and that sort of thing. And certainly, uh, you, it was a factor in it. However, and you can see the evidence that uh, Twitter influences a lot of things, and you kind of think, why does it do that when it really shouldn't? <laughs> but nevertheless, it does. Uh, the overall factor of, uh, of Marvel was the money, of course. But anyway, so this plays into the idea that, well... Uh, get a trend going and sh to, to show that there is interest and there is demand uh, for this version of the Justice League film. Uh, and hopefully uh, that could happen. Uh, there, other uh, uh, films, and I'm in the middle of re-watching Zack Snyder's films. <laughs> I, I already did the one on the Dawn of the Dead and I'm about to do uh, 300. And I... With uh, Dawn of the, even with Dawn of the Dead, there's a director's cut. It's you know it's a little bit longer. There's a few more scenes in it and stuff like that. And then you get to something like Watchmen. Good lord! <laughs> and you don't really get the complete story until you see the the ultimate cut of Watchmen, and uh, it's pretty good. There's all these other boy. He really worked hard on that thing. There's a lot of stuff in it, and uh, I think only now it's getting appreciated more or less. Uh, there's still people saying he doesn't get Watchmen. Uh, yeah, he does. <laughs> uh, people go off on their own little tangents about things, and uh, art has that 
a- aspect to it and the, uh, the the subjectivity of it all. But uh, he did a good job on that in my mind. And quite frankly, I agree with taking this quid out. Sorry, I just do. Uh, but anyway, uh, so he's had that. And then, of course, Batman versus Superman had uh, an extended cut, uh, which is far superior to the theatrical version. Uh, again, I'm not as big a fan of the film as other Snyder Cut uh, devotees, but I do enjoy the film. I understand why people would not like it. I understand its flaws, but at the same time, uh, there's plenty there. I like watching the film overall. Uh, Martha doesn't bother me that much, <laughs> but uh, you know, there's other aspects I thought. Nah, Luther, I would have gone in a different direction for Lex Luther, but other than that. The overall, the longer cut uh, fleshes out that story. It explains it more, and it makes more sense that way. And it just works better in that form. And that's the only way, really, to see it. So when Justice League was coming along, it would. It, it, I didn't think it was that big of a stretch to think that. Well, we could see this, uh, you know, ultimate cut, director's cut, Snyder cut, whatever they wanted to call it, uh, on Blu-ray. You could have that. It just didn't happen you know so then oh well what was the problem uh, well of course immediately people who just hated the film and probably hated the justice league and the whole idea of it to begin with and you know uh doubled down on this notion that it did not exist which was just not possible uh when you consider the timeline of when snyder leaves the project and when the and then when the film debuts it's you, you've got a matter of months here and so there was something. The only real question was how much of it is there, how much was complete. And eventually you get to the point of, well, there must have been scenes where the, uh, the, the visual effects hadn't been completed and all this sort of thing. Boy, I tell you, more and more as it comes leaks out, it became obvious that there was a lot more done than not. And the probably some of the confusion was that once again, um, and this was uh, from snippets of, of Snyder himself at his uh, the Snyder Con, they called it, <laughs> where he, they presented his films and then he would have a Q&A about them and all that. And, of course, Justice League was the big one they wanted to talk about for Batman vs. Superman. And he explained, uh, well, as much as he, he could, there's still NDAs and what have you. Um, but that, you know, he had an, he had a script and they said it was too crazy. So already they're changing it. You know, he said that was too crazy. So he said, okay. And so they rewrote that. So that version never, never got shot. So that's the one, that's the cut that never happened. <laughs> and so then he shoots one. Well, it's too long. Uh, it needs to be shorter. He's in the middle of doing that. And perhaps I'm guessing here from what I can gather from all that, that that's the cut he was able to complete. Uh, and uh, of course, unfortunately, the family tragedy that he suffered and all that, and he left the project. Joss Whedon comes in and shoots the movie as per what Warner Brothers says they wanted and had to utilize what footage was there available to shorten this thing down. Uh, and for whatever reason, it had to be the way it was. Now, of course, uh, the, the mustache gate <laughs> was not the worst thing uh, for it, if, if you can believe that. Uh, it's, that is pretty bad. Um, but the motivation for Steppenwolf, if, if there's anything that you get from descriptions of what the original was like, all the way back to Kevin Smith and that uh, people that were saying they saw the test screenings and they saw... You know, more of the, the, they saw the Snyder version and uh, more of that where you get what Steppenwolf's motivation is and what he, he's trying to do is far more credible and makes more sense uh, where he's after those boxes. Uh, his spirit of his mother is within there and he's going to use that power to overthrow Darkseid. And uh, of course, there's more of Darkseid in it. We, he was supposed to be in that uh, history lesson battle, as it was referred to. And that sort of thing. And then, of course, he's at the end. And uh, it's just so much better. Because the Justice League is just completely wounded by this ridiculous notion that uh, fear, the humans being afraid because Superman had died, that this is what finally draws Steppenwolf back to Earth to finish what he started thousands of years ago. It was just, it was really sad and stupid. 
uh, and that's the flaw in it, most notably. Uh, of course, the stupid shoehorned Whedon jokes and that sort of thing, and of course, digital mustache or the digital shave, I suppose. <laughs> and, and maybe that's why Cavill is. Uh, he says, "I'm done with this." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but that's not Snyder's fault. <laughs> uh, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, it, it, you could argue, well, how do you know it's any good? Uh, I don't, but I do know that. I do know it is a better, more credible uh, plot. And, of course, it'll fit in with what he had started. He had two films done. Here was a third one, and uh, it would weave in better with that. Um, going forward where they probably just, just don't mention those other movies. Eh, that's kind of weak, but you know, it works. Okay. Wonder woman, wonder woman is more involved in that Snyder verse when her film came out. Uh, Aquaman is a brief mention, uh, you know, of Steppenwolf and then that's it. And it moves on into its own thing. And that's probably where they're just going to go. But still, they could release this film and I would prefer it. Of course, it'd be great to see it in the theater, but I would prefer a Blu-ray release, but probably uh, more likely would be an HBO Max thing. And if that's the way it goes, well, all right, but it should be released. It just should be. And um, I don't know why anyone would not want it to be. And it, it, can, it doesn't exist. Oh, jeez, I just... Snyder himself said it does. <laughs> you know, I mean, what else? What else is there? What if they says, they says okay, we're going to do it, and then he says, uh, "Yeah, I didn't really have one." Now, come on, you know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it, it was a fun day, and it was uh, good to see uh, people get excited and happy, and hopefully, it wasn't all just for that and just to uh, say yeah we wish that we could see that one but we never will <laughs> we gotta wait 20 years like the Donner cut uh, so hopefully this will lead to something and uh, they'll release it uh, in some form or fashion so uh, so keep it going until then you know uh, every now and then you feel like it uh, hashtag release the Snyder cut oh yeah Thank you for watching and listening. Say, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you.